Alrighty, went to the crab track today, so super excited to check this out. Uh, last time we come up here, we're going to do sort of do the uh, the sort of half of it, and then the rest of it was closed. So we're doing it from north to south today, which the general sort of way is people do it from um, I go from south to north. I uh, just usually you do it on the way, start your sort of Cape trip uh, from the Dane Tree and head across and take the crab track. But it wasn't open when we went through there about three or four weeks ago, so because the Dane Tree River is still pretty high, so. It's open now, so it's, it's, we've had a couple of friends that have gone through and said it's a pretty nice, easy drive, uh, nice and scenic, uh, unless it's wet. And that's exactly what happened uh, last night. We had a fair bit of rain. It was raining this morning. It was raining when we left our camp. We stayed at uh, the Bloomfield camp. Um, I think just just in, uh, in Bloomfield, just outside of Woodger Woodger there. So, But luckily, as we have come through, it's been pretty good. Like, it's wet, but... Uh, we're still in the main uh, main roads at the moment, so it's all um, beautifully maintained roads because there's communities and stuff in here. But we're just about to hit the actual crab track, uh, or we are on the crab track. Yeah, but the bit that gets shut off if it you know if it is closed, about to hit that uh, now. But look, it is raining for us through here, so some bits have been dry, some are wet. So it's going to be very interesting. It's either going to be just the beautiful smooth drive um, or it might be a little bit interesting but either way we're just going to poke through and enjoy this beautiful scenery and get into it. I uh, just poked in to have a look at uh, Roaring Meg Creek here. This is where the Ro Roaring Meg Falls are. Uh, they're down, it's about 1.2k walk uh, the other way. Uh, out of respect you're not allowed to film and stuff down there. Uh, we're not going to go down there for a look today uh, but just from the car park you can come down and the, the creek is right here. Absolutely beautiful, just uh, just down there. They just uh, the water's just rushing over the rocks there. It's just so uh, so calm and so peaceful in here. It's just a uh, absolutely beautiful spot to come in, uh, set up for a bit of lunch and just hang out. Absolutely beautiful. sort of first uh, part of the actual crab track here where it gets uh, really red dirt and a couple of inclines and yes uh, it is wet and you can sort of feel the uh, slickness to it already. <laughs> That is slippery. Right, I've got a little bit of creek crossing down here. I've just uh, we've just jumped out to have a bit of a look because it is uh it's like ice down here. We're, we're obviously by ourselves, so we're trying to be very careful. Uh, it is getting a bit wetter as we are going along. Um, I think we should be right. Getting out the other side is good, but coming if you had to come back up this, that's what we're just being careful. We don't want to go down nothing too much. Where if we do need to turn around. Uh, we're going to get in trouble, but there is a lot of trees around here, so if we had the winch, it should be alright. But be a little bit slick coming down here, but um, I think we should be alright. On the tacky stuff, it's not that bad walking down, but my shoes are just bulk full of mud right now, so I'm just trying to walk down really slow and flick it off as I take each step. <laughs> Alrighty, if I knew it was going to be like this from the start, I uh, probably wouldn't have uh, come down below. I said we're literally driving through dust just before, but I was going to this rainforest here. It's obviously uh, pretty slick coming out of here. I've just gone, I was at 20, I've just gone down to 15 psi. Uh, obviously not knowing what's going to be coming up next, or once we come across some other people or they come over my tracks, once you go this stuff once, it's uh, like ice.
Tyrell. We're heading up McDowell Range, and it's uh, it is pretty bloody steep. Thank God, it's so far. It's been pretty good because it's dense rainforest, so it's it's wet, but it's not that bad. We just jumped down, had a bit of a look up this hill here because it did look like it started to get uh, pretty slippy. But it was really just the first bit, and it sort of gets uh, gets a bit more tacky. But just rolling down now, my tires are uh, just clogged up full stuff, so I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of sand to clear the tires out, and she should be all right. Oh, no way. That was slippery. Oh. oh, I should not have stopped there to wait for Michaela. Oh, no. <laughs> I just got absolutely annihilated with mud. Probably not the best spot to steer, and I think my Cooper's a case, so that's the main thing. <laughs> All right, if I can get some traction to get going again, I should be okay. It's going to try and straighten up a little bit. Wow. Oh man, I should be pretty safe to stop here, I think. <laughs> I really hope they don't have to go back down that. Going back now. Playing it safe here. This is uh, this is actually getting pretty pretty full on, so it's so slippery. I've just got some max tracks out. I just really don't want to go into that rut there, so it's gonna try and take it easy. Yep, passenger, passenger, passenger. Yeah, lovely. You're on the max track now. This way. Yep. You come around. Right, you're off the grey one. You're about to touch the orange one now. You can come this way a bit more if you need. I just need to go another couple of meters, don't I? You just need to go another couple of meters. Yeah, that's it. G'day guys, I well, hope you're enjoying today's episode. We want to quickly interrupt because we have an extremely exciting announcement to make for you guys. As you would have seen, we've wearing our Travelling Campus merch. As we've been going around Australia for quite a while now, and the extremely exciting announcement is we now have this available to you guys. So we'd love to see you out there. This is our Team Travelling Campus range. Love to see you guys out there exploring, forward driving in our gear. They're available right now on our website. So we've got men's, women's, kids, tees, and even some hoodies. So you can jump on right now and shop and they'll be posted straight to you. Also on our website, we've got heaps of blog posts. So how we travel with Georgia, so traveling with a dog. We've got all about our car and our van. And also we've got how we travel full time. So if that's something you've been interested in, you can jump in and check it out and we can even help you if that's something you want to do. Exactly. And look, we don't ask too much from you guys at all, but look, we'd love if you would take just 10 seconds to make sure, because we've seen the stats and a lot of you guys that watch frequently aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So please just jump across, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell. That means you won't miss a, a one minute of traveling camps. And look, give the video a like, jump in the comments. We love to engage with you guys. So look, just let us know that your favorite takeaway, your favorite part of the episode, chuck something in there. We'll get back to you and we can engage with you guys in there as well. That's what we're trying to do 
is build a traveling campus community of all traveling like minded people. Uh, as we've been going around, we've been meeting so many of you guys. It's been absolutely what amazing. We absolutely love That's what we've been all about. So, again, guys, back to the episode. Thanks so much. Well, we're getting uh, closer to the end now. We're at um, this is Bob's. I think it's called Bob. I think it's called Bob's Hill. There's a bypass track there, but there's a gnarly track up here. In the dry, I reckon it would probably be all right. But there is no way you're driving that in the wet. But uh, the sun's coming out now, and I hope that we've done the hardest bit. It's a bit. The dirt's pretty. It's pretty tacky here now. So I think. Uh, I think the worst of it uh, has has been. I reckon. <laughs> ladies I got some tips for you for when you go forward driving with your partner because I, I hear you I know some of you hate it but honestly it's it's worth it you have so much fun once you let go of whatever anger or anxiety you have when you when you go with your partner once you let all that go you have so much fun so probably my biggest tip especially well today it's muddy but majority of the time I wear my water shoes so uh, Josh and I call them water shoes because we're from the country but uh, normally they're called reef shoes so reef shoes um, pop in where your um, carpets go the rubber rubber foot mats they're perfect uh, and then down in the side of your pocket have everything that you're going to need for the day so uh, in mine I have sunscreen I even bring like a little um, fold out fan if it's really hot uh, and if, if, if the car needs to be turned off, so I have a little fan, um, toilet paper, because of course you, get, you can't go the whole day without going to the toilet. Um, my glasses case, so if I need to clean my glasses. Um, and then just uh, in this bag I have like, I have spew bags. So this, this stays in the car all the time, because we obviously are in the car majority of the time. But I have like spew bags, extra deodorant, um, just whatever else I think I'm going to need for the day. So basically like a handbag, um, but down in the side because... You can't just have a handbag rolling around in here because your feet are going to get absolutely filthy. Um, can't give you any tips for with the kids in the back, but with my kid in the back, the um, Navigator hammock, perfect. Georgia just absolutely loves it. She just sits in the back there, has a good old time. When we're going downhill, she even like gets into this like little gap off the seats and just nestles in there like she's literally on a hammock. So there's some tips. Hopefully, you know, that should make it a bit easier for you. And probably my biggest tip is get out of the car. If you honestly don't don't like being in the car, just if you're going up a hill or you're going downhill, just walk it uh, and film it because your partner will really appreciate that if you if you film it. Um, and also a handheld radio because if you get out of the car and you need to communicate with each other, pop it on the same channel and you can just communicate with each other. It makes life so much easier. So I know a majority of you probably already know all this, but for those. Uh, you know who don't really go forward driving with their partners that often hopefully some of these tips can just help you just ease into it and just feel a lot more comfortable and um hopefully you'll be able to get out there and enjoy enjoy forward driving together we just pulled up at osborne creek there's a campground around here absolutely beautiful spot through the water here crystal clear there's a little waterfall running over there if it's a little bit warm it's pretty uh, pretty overcast and we kind of like 
It's, it's just random. It wasn't even meant to rain, so it's just like cloudy. But there's some random. Cloud. It's actually starting to spit rain right now, so we're kind of in a bit of a rush to uh, get through it to make sure we uh, don't come unstuck again. <laughs> tell on camera but it's really um foggy around we're up in the clouds now so we must be up super high <laughs> Well, we've just come to a section that we need to go down but there's a group of blokes on some on some bikes that are really struggling to get up here it's that slippery so two of them have already gotten up and it, their bikes are just covered in mud there's one still down the bottom and then there's one in the middle just on its side because they just cannot get up so we've got the winch out we're going to try and winch them up so we can get them up and out of the way and then we can both carry on <laughs> Try and let the winch do the pulling. Well, we got all the bikes up. It's uh, time for us to just go down. This is, uh, I'm so glad we're not coming up this. This is so slippery. Just trying to go as easy as I can. ourselves a little bit of a situation here because uh, all those bikes went through once we got about halfway down it just slid and it just it just kept going it was actually uh quite scary so we ended up in there i was able to reverse back out kind of go back to here i'm just going to look for a there's a lot of trees around so a bit of a high winch point to hope once i get up here and as long as the rope's on i don't want to end up on an angle but we should be all right Here we go, time to winch. Plan. We're going to reposition the winch because 
having it up there just still dragged the car into the side of that bank where all those ruts are when we need to come this way so I think we're going to try and find a point up here and we'll use the max tracks and hopefully that should just pop us out of these ruts and get us down this hill where we need to go all right now I'm driving and Josh is doing the winching and max tracks Sleek. Well, we're nearing the end now. What a friggin' adventure this has been. We just saw what another couple day. of <clears throat> three cars come through. It's three o'clock. We start this track at nine. 
and we had to winch that once there. Uh, that actually uh, follows the channel, so <laughs> g'day guys, but we, um, yeah, we just said, like, no. Nah. They, they were planning on getting to Lion's Den tonight. Yeah, no so chance. That, that no wasn't chance. gonna happen. If we had to turn around, I'd, like, we would have been winched into it. There's no way we would have got up those hills. No, if we are sliding like that down, getting down, <laughs> there's, uh, there's no way in hell, but, um, yeah, I mean, what, a, what an adventure this has been. It's definitely, uh, I've enjoyed it, but I didn't really get to enjoy the scenery like, <laughs> like I wanted to. Alrighty, our first time crossing the Daintree River. This has been a uh, bit of a bucket list thing for a while, so this is uh, pretty cool. That is the crab track done. How fun is that? The most uh, easiest track out of the whole Cape York and the last time we're doing it was probably the it hardest. It was the hardest and the wettest and the longest. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't too bad at the end, but like, I think if there was another car in front of us or if people come the other way, like would have been a different story. And obviously because we're by ourselves and that, like it was, um, yeah, pretty hairy. But again, we checked the weather. Wasn't meant to rain today, but again, rain for us all life. Yeah, um, yeah it got, got some uh, rain, and I think down here they must have had some, yeah, had a little bit extra. So, uh, but yeah, you obviously got to check that. But look, it would have been an adventure, like it, it but it just, yeah, not while we're by ourselves. No. So, <laughs> that was uh, going down that hill. If those bikes hadn't gone up first, I think we probably wouldn't have happened sliding yeah. down that hill, uh, not having the winch out. But yeah, anyway, we've got uh, crab track done, got the drive of the Dane Tree, that's a bucket list thing. That so, was cool. Yeah, we didn't get to do it last time we are here, so all in all, uh, absolutely stoked, but definitely glad that was over. You did well. You, yeah, you, all, did, no, I'm, you did well. You didn't yeah, freak out. No, it's fine. You, you did really yeah. well. That was uh, definitely an adventure. And again, if it was dry, two-wheel drive. You could two-wheel drive absolutely. the whole track pretty much. Maybe just a couple of the crossings there, but um, beautiful drive. Uh, or yeah, it doesn't it doesn't wreck the track. Like it's not a track, but you do drive in the mud. Like it's, it's a road, so it's mm. just like, driving on an ice cube <laughs> really <laughs> like it's not going to just destroy the track like it would you know drive through big bog holes and stuff like that but yeah definitely try not to uh do it when it's when it's like that okay, but right. all done if i slip over this will be perfect for the bloopers all righty one to the krebman's track to oh, oh kreb track isn't it Down here, there's a bit of a, uh, a creek crossing. It is so slippery. Oh. I'm going to drive down there. Testing, testing. I've already fallen over like three times. Oh shit. <laughs> what's another, what's another few slips, hey? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Surely I'm not going to slip over again. So far, so good. I'm so going to fall over.